Night before we go home, maybe we can all take a horse and buggy ride through Central Park. Heaven! <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh. Central Park's not safe. Oh, it would be safe in a horse and buggy. The only thing that's safe going through Central Park at night is a bullet. <laughs> Oh, Walter, now you're exaggerating. I mean, New York may have its faults, but let's face it, it is still a very exciting city. <laughs> it's filled with art museums, the theater, ballet, opera, you know. It's the cultural center of America. <laughs> Just ignoring Walter. I can't, I'm hungry. <laughs> Mario. I don't think that this is that kind of a show. You don't see anyone else dressed funny. How about the clown in the funny hat? <laughs> oh, excuse me for staring, but you have a loose pepperoni. That's okay, buddy. I got plenty. But don't touch the anchovy. That's my zipper. <laughs> Thanks. You know, Pip, something tells me this play is not going to be a stimulating intellectual experience. Well, actually, I do have a small confession to make. <laughs> yes? Well, I was going to tell you. <laughs> yes? Oh, gosh, I'll get out. <laughs> yes, Viv? Oh, golly gee. <laughs> Look, will you stop doing Jim Neighbors Nightclub out? Yes. <laughs> well, Beat the Devil is a television game show. <laughs> Vivian, you told me it was a play Well, yes, but I knew if I told you the truth, you wouldn't come And I knew since it was my birthday, you wouldn't mind my telling a little lie oh, Happy <laughs> birthday, Viv, you're wrong Wait, Ma, where are you going? Look, there is a revival of Roman Holiday playing down the street I'll see you later I refuse to spend the afternoon sitting through one of these dumb game shows Oh, oh well, but this isn't a dumb show, it's very dignified Oh? And who's this, Prince Philip? <laughs> He's the only weirdo in line. Hey, lady, how would you like some mozzarella in the mouth? I'd like one. <laughs> hey, the mushrooms look good. Look, you three enjoy the show, enjoy your lunch. I'll see you later. Oh, oh, listen, Lord, please, you don't want listen. to go see an old movie about Rome when you can see Beat the Devil. Vivian, you know it has been my lifelong dream to visit Rome. And since the closest I'll ever get to Italy is him, well, I'd rather sit in a movie theater and dream about Rome than stay here and watch his peppers droop. Ciao. Listen, listen, this is my birthday, and you don't know what strings my nephew had to pull to get these. This is birthday. Well, 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 and who do we have here? It's him, it's him, it's him. You're, you're him. Him who? I'm Lyle Bellamy, your host on Beat the Devil. Are you folks from out of town? Yes. Uh, no! I, I, which town would you like us to be out of? <laughs> We're from Tuckahoe. Tuckahoe, and where's that? In New York. Wonderful! Say, you're pretty quick with the answers. You might make a good contestant. Oh, so would I. I know where we're from, too. And it's my birthday, so doesn't that count for something? Well, I guess I better not ask you how old you are. Forty-two. What do I win? <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm Mrs. Arthur, Dr. Harmon, and this is Mr. Arthur, Dr. Harmon, and these are our friends, Mr. Maud and Walter Finley. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. And what are your names? Uh, I'll take that one. Arthur, I believe Mr. Bellamy was making a joke. That's wonderful. Maybe not. <laughs> well, it's been wonderful chatting with you folks, and I hope you enjoy Beat the Devil with your host, Lyle Bellamy. Look, I don't want to spoil your birthday. You stay here and have fun. I'm going to see Roman Holiday. Oh, well, I'm Mark. Mrs. Harmon, Mrs. Finley, good news. Lyle Bellamy has chosen you as contestants on Beat the Devil with your host, Lyle Bellamy. Contestants? We'll be ushering you in in just a moment. We're going to be contestants. We're going to be contestants on Beat the Devil! With your host, Lyle Bellamy, no way, Vivian. Oh, wait a minute, what about me? It's all your fault I didn't get picked, Sally. It is not my fault. I begged him to come as lasagna. <laughs> Why not give it a shot? It could be fun. Oh, you please. could win some big prizes. Oh, well, Arthur, do you think that I am the kind of person who would debase herself on national television, jumping up and down and screaming to win a chain-link fence? I will have no part of it. You know, Maud, we've been best friends for a long, long time. 
Look, Vivian, Vivian. Game shows bring out the worst in people. Vivian, you'd make a fool of yourself. I just thought our friendship meant something to you. Uh, Vivian, it does. But, honey, I know you. Vivian, you're the nervous type. You know, you'd get out there and you'd get excited and you'd start screaming and yelling and jumping up and down and look ridiculous. Vivian, you'd humiliate yourself. Now, you don't want to do that, do you? Of course not. Vivian, please don't cry. I hate it when you cry. Well, if you want me to stop crying, you know what words to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop crying! <laughs> Vivian, please, please, people are beginning to stare. <laughs> All right, I'll go on the damn show. Oh, goody, goody, we'll have a ball. <laughs> well, at least if I'm with her, she won't make a complete fool of herself. <laughs> well, we're back again. Wonderful. In the 1931 film classic, Public Enemy, James Cagney pushed a grapefruit into the face of a young and unknown actress. Now, if you want to beat the devil, name that actress. May Clark. That's right! Now, now let's take a look at what you've won. Right, Lyle, chain link fence. How much even have you this beautiful fence? They really are giving chain link fence. What kind of prize is chain link fence? Oh, that's one heck of a prize, Walter. Oh my gosh, look at that. With that gift certificate from J.C. Penny, they were one of them $3,400 worth of stuff. Yes, that's right, Johnny. Over $3,400 worth of merchandise and $15 in cash, making a grand total of $3,415. All right, Maud, Vivian, here's your bonus question, so listen carefully. In the original Tarzan... <laughs> Elmo Lincoln. Right again! All right, congratulations to our two homemakers and really top-notch homemakers, I'll bet. Whoops, that means our time is up. All right, Maud, Vivian, you have just qualified to come back tomorrow and try for the Beelzebub Bonanza. Now, that's a big decision, so take your time. Here's what you could win should you decide to come back. Well, if our contestants do opt to return, they can win this lovely set of luggage, which includes two handsome large suitcases reinforced with heavy duty chrome. I hate this, and I don't want to come back. We won't come back, but at least try to look intelligent. We're on national television. I mean, have a little dignity. In all standard-sized baggage compartments or under any seat. And all that luggage will come in handy, Lyle, because they'll also be shooting for a 10-day all-expense-paid vacation for four in historic Rome, Italy! Yes, they'll be flown on Angola Well, ladies, what's your decision? Well, thank you very much. Who is? Hey! <laughs> We're going to face the devil! Uh... We're going to face the devil! <laughs> Vivian! Vivian, I just spoke to the producers. We're going to be taping the next show in just a few minutes. And Vivian, they're going to give us all new clothes to wear so it looks like the next day. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Maud, I want to talk. No, there's no time. Now listen, Vivian, we have to think of every movie that was ever made, from A to Z, Aaron Slick from Punk and Crypt to Zombies on Broadway. Now, now, let's start with the A's. Affair, Affair in Havana, a Raymond Burr, Lila Lazo. Maud, you've already won $5,000 worth of prizes. Affair in Trinidad, uh, Rita Hayworth, Glenn Ford, Africa Screams, Albert and Costello. Maud, if you go back on the show and you miss a question, you will lose everything. Oh, who cares? Arthur, all I want is that trip to Rome. I'd risk anything for that. 
B, B, bad girl, Anna Nagel, Wilfred Hyde, what? What? Bad man of brimstone, Wallace Beery, Virginia Bruce. Bad for each other. What? Charlton Heston, Lisbeth Scott. I've never seen it this way. The woman is possessed by greed. Possessed? Joan Crawford, Clark Gable. <laughs> greed, Jean Hersholt, Zazu Pitts. Not just... Look at you, you're turning into a piggy. Piggy. Gabba, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> oh, you're a piggy. You're a piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, Vivian. Vivian, you know I couldn't care less about the prizes or the money. All I want is that trip to Rome. Vivian, don't you remember in college I studied Italian? You were taking French. Yes, but I was dating Aldo Fabrizi. <laughs> you ever learned from him was grazie. I had a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> now, Vivian, we really have an awful lot of work to do. Oh. See, see, Captain Apache, Captain Courageous. I'm not going back out there. Vivian! Oh, she's right. Why don't we just take our prizes and forget the game show? Yeah. We can all have a nice dinner in Chinatown. Yeah. Chinatown! Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Vivian. Mm -hmm. Vivian. No. Vivian, have you any idea what your friendship means to me? Vivian, do you know the first thing I do every morning? Gargle? <laughs> no. I say, thank you, God, for giving me a friend like Vivian Harmon. <laughs> then I gargle. You do? Of course. Oh, Vivian, we're best friends. I mean, if you... We help each other. If you need money, I'm there. Vivian, if you need food for your table, I'm there. If you need a trip to Rome, I'm there. So sweet. Vivian. Now, do you mean after all these years, you are going to tell me that you are not the friend I think you are? Viv, is that what you're going to tell me? No, Mud, I wouldn't tell you that for the world. Oh, what have I been thinking of? Yourself, Vivian. <laughs> You're right. I'm the piggy. 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 There, 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 there. I forgive you, dear. And when we get to Rome, I'll have the Pope forgive you, too. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Harmon, Mrs. Finley. Time to get down to wardrobe, uh, ladies. Oh. Vivian, are you coming? Of course I am. Oh, grazie, grazie. Oh, mia grazie. Did you see that? Vivian is a real pushover. People can get her to do anything. I wonder why I can't. And so, let's welcome back our two ladies from Tuckahoe, New Jersey. New York. Wonderful. <laughs> Incidentally, we do want to welcome station KTWO in Casper, Wyoming. Channel you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. Now, we're just going to win we're the trip to Rome, and then we will leave. Good. The Casperonians. <laughs> all right, Vivian and Maud, are you ready for today's Beelzebub Bonanza? Yes! Good! <laughs> And now for your trip to fabulous Roma, here is your question. Now, we all know the legendary Douglas Fairbanks Sr. was married to America's sweetheart, the legendary Mary Pickford. But what legendary movie star did the legendary Douglas Fairbanks Jr. marry? Uh, uh, it was, uh... Mary Pickford Jr.? Oh. <laughs> Vivian, why did you do that? I had the name right on the tip of my tongue. Go on and say it. I can't think of it now, but I, ooh, I can see her just as plain as day. Day? Doris Day? Oh, well, what she look like? Oh, I don't know. I just see bushy eyebrows and big padded shoulders. Rosie Greer? <laughs> Joan Crawford! Joan Crawford is right! I know you're happy, but please take your seats, oh. you ladies. Please. Take your seats. The show must go on. All right, now, ladies, you have just qualified for the Beelzebub Bonanza sweepstakes. 
Oh, you didn't expect us to go on. I said we would. Here's the first man to win. Yes, that's right. You warm your shoulders on those chilly Roman nights in this full-length chinchilla coat, designed and tailored by the renowned Dennis of Venice. Chinchilla. And to compliment your coat, this stunning jeweled necklace with diamonds by Maury of Amsterdam. Diamonds. No, 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 no. And you oh, look praise oh. Monier in your diamonds and furs, lounging on the deck of your 36-foot ocean-going cabin cruiser. It's from Leisure Craft, and it's a Jacques Cousteau autograph model. Vivian Yacht Diamonds, brother. Vivian, I'm hot. I'm on the road. I want it. I want more. I want everything. I want everything. We'll go on. Well, I have the feeling our two ladies from Tuckahoe, Illinois, want to continue. We'll go on. We'll go on. All right. All right. All right, ladies. Now, you have 15 seconds in which to answer. Oh. We are about to show you a picture of an infant who was the famous trademark of a baby food. This baby grew up to be a famous Hollywood movie star. Now, for the trip to Rome, the fur, the diamonds, the yacht, and all the other prizes, name that baby! Tell us, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who? I don't know. You don't know. Oh, Pip. I'm sorry. I, I blew everything. No, try, try. At least no try. use. My mind's a blank. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't answer the trick uh, question. Look at that face. That's not a baby food baby. That's Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart? Humphrey Bogart is right, ladies. You just beat the devil with your host. Lady, for oh. God's sake, oh. leave me alone. Oh, oh Vivian, this is the happiest day of my life, and I'm, I'm so thankful that I can share it with you. Oh. You don't have anything else. You can have the electric organ. Oh, no, I want the organ. Yes, I got the organ. Lord, I have that question. She has the right to say what I get. Who answered all the questions? Mr. Bellamy, I... I can't tell you how happy you've made us all. It's empty. My last bottle of scotch and it's empty. Why would you want to drink? You have another show to do in a few minutes. Because it's the only way I can go out there and face those animals. What animals? The contestants. People like you. Hey, that's my wife. That's your problem. <laughs> you don't know what it's like for me. Smiling and waving and being Mr. Nice Guy. I'm an actor. I'm a well-trained dramatic actor. I could have had a role with dignity, a role with some class. I came this close to getting the lead in Holmes and Yo-Yo. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, thank Randy. you for the ticket. This is my nephew, Randy, uh, who got us the ticket. Oh, bless you, Randy. You're responsible for all of this, Vivian, yeah. given your chain link fence. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. This usher, Randy, is your nephew? That's right. <laughs> oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Dwayne, please relieve the lady from Pennsylvania of her chinchilla coat and her diamond neck. Oh, but listen, Dwayne, Dwayne, don't send them to Pennsylvania. Tuckahoe's in New York. Oh, we're not going to send them anywhere. You're disqualified. <laughs> what? That's right. No contestant can be related to any employee on our show. Those are the rules. You mean, you mean we can't keep any of the prizes? That's right. Say, you catch on pretty fast. You'd make a pretty good contestant on a game show. Come on, Randy. <laughs> well, you see, sometimes you beat the devil and sometimes the devil beats you. <laughs> oh. oh. This is all my fault. Oh. I was the one who put us through all this. No, it's my fault. I got the tickets. No, Vivian, I was greedy. I behaved just like every other game show contestant. 
Oh, it's hell to realize that inside each and every one of us is a little man in a pizza suit screaming to get out. <laughs> oh, but come on. Now, let's not forget why we came to New York today in the first place. I mean, we came for a very special, very important reason. Why the hell did we come to New York? <laughs> Because it was my birthday. Oh, of course. You forgot it was my birthday. Oh, good. <laughs> one more time. Come on, just look at you. You're turning into a piggy. Piggy. Gabba, gabba, gabba. That's all, folks. <laughs> Piggy, you're a piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, Vivian. Vivian, you know I couldn't care less about the prizes or the money. All I want is that trip to Rome. Vivian, don't you remember in college I studied Italian? You were taking French. Yes, but I was dating Aldo Fabrizi. <laughs> what you ever learned from him was grazie. Well, I had a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> Now, Vivian, we really have an awful lot of work to do. Oh. See, see, Captain Apache, Captain Courageous. I'm not going back out there. Vivian! Oh, she's right. Why don't we just take our prizes and forget the game show? We can all have a nice dinner in Chinatown. Chinatown! Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Vivian. Vivian. No. Vivian, have you any idea what your friendship means to me? Vivian. Do you know the first thing I do every morning? Gargle? <laughs> no. I say, thank you, God, for giving me a friend like Vivian Harmon. <laughs> then I gargle. You do? Of course. Oh, Vivian, we're best friends. I mean, if you, we help each other. If you need money, I'm there. Vivian, if you need food for your table, I'm there. If you need a trip to Rome, I'm there. So sweet. Now, do you mean after all these years, you are going to tell me that you are not the friend I think you are? Viv, is that what you're going to tell me? No, Mud, I wouldn't tell you that for the world. Oh, what have I been thinking of? Yourself, Vivian. <laughs> you're right. I'm the piggy. 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 There, 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 there. I forgive you, dear. And when we get to Rome, I'll have the Pope forgive you, too. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Harmon, Mrs. Finley. Time to get down to wardrobe, uh, ladies. Oh. Vivian, are you coming? Of course I am. Oh, grazie, grazie. Oh, mia grazie. grazie. Did you see that? Vivian is a real pushover. People can get her to do anything. I wonder why I can't. <laughs> and so, let's welcome back our two ladies from Tuckahoe, New Jersey. New York. Wonderful. <laughs> Incidentally, we do want to welcome Station KTWO in Casper, Wyoming. Again, Channel you all two, right? Beat yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Now, we're just going to win we're the trip to Rome, and then we will leave. Good. The Casperonians. <laughs> all right, Vivian and Maud, are you ready for today's Beelzebub? All right! All right. All right, ladies, now, you have 15 seconds in which to answer. Oh. We are about to show you a picture of an infant who was the famous trademark of a baby food. Oh. This baby grew up to be a famous Hollywood movie star. Oh. Now, for the trip to Rome, the fur, ah. the diamonds, the yacht, and all the other prizes, name that baby! Oh. 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 Who is it? Who is it? Who? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I blew everything. No, try, try. At it's least no try. use. My mind's a blank. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't answer the trick uh, question. Look at that face. That's not a baby food baby. That's Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart? Humphrey Bogart is right, ladies. You just beat the devil with your host. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we'll be right back right after the commercial with our next contestant. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, lady, for oh. God's sake, oh. leave me alone. Oh, oh Vivian. This is the happiest day of my life, and I'm I'm so thankful that I can share it with you. Oh. Oh, you can have anything else. You can have the electric organ. Oh, no, I want the organ. Yes, I want the organ. No, no, I want the question. She had the right to say what I get. Who answered all the questions? Mr. Bellamy, I I can't tell you how happy you've made us all. It's empty. My last bottle of scotch, and it's empty. Why would you want to drink? You have another show to do in a few minutes. Because it's the only way I can go out there and face those animals. What animals? The contestants. People like you. Hey, that's my wife. That's your problem. <laughs> you don't know what it's like for me. Smiling and waving and being Mr. Nice Guy. I'm an actor. I'm a well-trained dramatic actor. I could have had a role with dignity, a role with some class. I came this close to getting the lead in Holmes and Yo-Yo. <laughs> Congratulations. Randy. Oh, sweetheart, thank you for the ticket. This is my nephew, Randy. Oh, got us the ticket. Oh, bless you, Randy. You're responsible for all of this, Vivian, yeah. given your chain link fence. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. This usher, Randy, is your nephew? That's right. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Dwayne, please relieve the lady from Pennsylvania of her chinchilla coat and her diamond necklace. Oh, but listen, Dwayne, Dwayne, don't... Now, now, let's take a look at what you've won. Right, Lyle, chain link fence. I'm not even see this beautiful fence. This fence is made They really are giving chain link fence. What kind of prize is chain link fence? Oh, that's one heck of a prize, Walter. Oh, my gosh, look at that. With that gift certificate from J.C. Penny, they were one of $3,400 worth of stuff. Yes, that's right, Johnny. Over $3,400 worth of merchandise and $15 in cash, making a grand total of $3,415. <laughs> All right, Maud, Vivian, here's your bonus question, so listen carefully. In the original Tarzan... Elmo <laughs> Lincoln. Right again! Congratulations to our two homemakers and really top-notch homemakers, I'll bet. Whoops, that means our time is up. All right, Maud, Vivian, you have just qualified to come back tomorrow and try for the Beelzebub Bonanza. Now, that's a big decision, so take your time. Here's what you could win should you decide to come back. Well, if our contestants do opt to return, they can win this lovely set of luggage, which includes Vivian. two handsome large suitcases Vivian. reinforced with heavy duty chrome. I hate and this, and I don't want to come back. We won't come back, but Plus at least try to look intelligent. We're on national television. We I mean, have a little dignity. It's all standard size baggage compartments or under any seat. And all that luggage will come in handy, Lyle, because they'll also be shooting for a 10-day all-expense-paid vacation for four in historic Rome, Italy! Yes, they'll be flown on Angola What's your decision? Well, thank you very much. Oh, Ed, hey! <laughs> We're going to beat the devil! Uh... We're going to beat the devil! <laughs> Vivian! Vivian, I just spoke to the producers. We're going to be taping the next show in just a few minutes. And Vivian, they're going to give us all new clothes to wear so it looks like the next day. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Maud, I want to talk. No, there's no time. Now listen, Vivian, we have to think of every movie that was ever made, from A to Z, Aaron Slick from Punk and Crypt to Zombies on Broadway. Now, now, let's start with the A's. Affair, Affair in Havana, a Raymond Burr, Lila Lazo. Maud, you've already won $5,000 worth of prizes. Affair. No. I say, thank you, God, for giving me a friend like Vivian Harmon. Then I gargle. You do? Of course. Oh, Vivian, we're best friends. I mean, if you... We help each other. If you need money, I'm there. 
Vivian, if you need food for your table, I'm there. If you need a trip to Rome, I'm there. So sweet. Now, do you mean after all these years, you are going to tell me that you are not the friend I think you are? Viv, is that what you're going to tell me? No, Mud, I wouldn't tell you that for the world. Oh, what have I been thinking of? Yourself, Vivian. <laughs> you're right. I'm the piggy. 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 There, 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 there. I forgive you, dear. And when we get to Rome, I'll have the Pope forgive you, too. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Harmon, Mrs. Finley. Time to get down to wardrobe, uh, ladies. Oh. Vivian, are you coming? Of course I am. Oh, grazie, grazie. <laughs> oh, mia grazie. <laughs> Did you see that? Vivian is a real pushover. People can get her to do anything. I wonder why I can't. <laughs> and so, let's welcome back our two ladies from Tuckahoe, New Jersey. New York. Wonderful. <laughs> Incidentally, we do want to welcome station KTWO in Casper, Wyoming. Yeah, you're all two, right. Beat yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Now. We're just going to win We're the trip to Rome, and then we will leave. Rooms, Good. Casperonians. <laughs> all right, Vivian and Maud, are you ready for today's Beelzebub Bonanza? Yes! Good. And now for your trip to fabulous Roma, here is your question. Now, we all know the legendary Douglas Fairbanks Sr. was married to America's sweetheart, the legendary Mary Pickford. But what legendary movie star did the legendary Douglas Fairbanks Jr. marry? Uh, uh, it was, uh... Mary Pickford Jr.? Oh. <laughs> You do that. I have the name right on the tip of my tongue. Go on and see it. I can't think of it now, but I, ooh, I can see her just as plain as day. Day? Doris Day? Well, what's she look like? Oh, I don't know. I just see bushy eyebrows and big padded shoulders. Rosie Greer? <laughs> Joan Crawford! Joan Crawford is right! <laughs> Expense paid vacation for four in historic Rome, Italy. Yes, they'll be flown on Angola Airlines. Well, ladies, what's your decision? Well, thank you very much. Oh, and hi. <laughs> I just spoke to the producers. We're going to be taping the next show in just a few minutes. And Vivian, they're going to give us all new clothes to wear so it looks like the next day. Oh! oh. <laughs> Maud, I want to talk. No, there's no time. Now listen, Vivian, we have to think of every movie that was ever made, from A to Z. Aaron Slick from Punk and Crypt to Zombies on Broadway. Now, now, let's start with the A's. A fair, a fair in Havana. A Raymond Burr, Lila Lazo. Lord, you've already won five thousand dollars worth of prizes. A fair in Trinidad. Uh, Rita Hayworth, Glenn Ford. Africa screams. Albert and Costello. What? If you go back on the show and you miss a question, you will lose everything. Oh, who cares, Arthur? All I want is that trip to Rome. I'd risk anything for that. B, B, bad girl. Anna Nagel, Wilfred Hyde White. What? Bad man of brimstone. Wallace Beery, Virginia Bruce. Bad for each other. What? Charlton Heston, Lisbeth Scott. I've never seen it this way. The woman is possessed by greed. Possessed! Joan Crawford, Clark Gable. <laughs> greed, Jean Hersholt, Zazu Pitts. Oh, just look at you. You're turning into a piggy. Piggy. Gabba, gabba, gabba. That's all, folks. <laughs> no, you're a piggy. You're a piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, Vivian. Vivian, you know I couldn't care less about the prizes or the money. All I want is that trip to Rome. Vivian, don't you remember in college I studied Italian? You were taking French. Yes, but I was dating Aldo Fabrizi. <laughs> what you ever learned from him was grazie. Well, I had a lot to be thankful for. 
Now, Vivian, we really have an awful lot of work to do. Oh. See, see. Captain Apache, Captain Courageous. I'm not going back out there. Vivian! Oh, she's right. Why don't we just take our prizes and forget the game show? We can all have a nice dinner in Chinatown. Chinatown! Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Vivian. Vivian. No. Vivian, have you any idea what your friendship means to me? Vivian, do you know the first thing I do every morning? Gargle? <laughs> no. I say, 